The suspense continues in Georgia at this hour, where the governor's race between Brian Kemp and Stacey Abrams is still too close to call. Yeah, right now, Kemp is in the lead with 54% to Stacey Abrams, 45%. The U.S. Senate race in Georgia, it could flip the balance of power in Washington. And look at it. It is neck and neck between incumbent Raphael Warnock and Republican challenger Herschel Walker. It has been this way all night. And keep in mind, if neither of those candidates gets 50%, there will be a runoff December 6th. Joining us now live from Atlanta is Vic Michalucci. Vic, you're at the Fulton County Election Center. The vote counting is not exactly going quickly, is it? No, it is not. And especially with razor thin margins like this, we are going to see them take their time. Poll workers say they're going to be here as long as they need to be. And we're seeing some activity coming through. It's picking up a little bit more. So there's about 250 precincts throughout Fulton County. That's where Atlanta is, and that's the seat for the state of Georgia. It's also got the most population in the entire Peach State. And we are seeing these uh, hard drives come in with the votes. They're coming in with poll workers, and each poll worker has a police officer escorting them for safety, for security, so that everybody can have peace of mind. So obviously that takes time. This is a very large county here in Fulton County. You've got traffic, you've got those issues. Uh, but we have seen them come in uh, to this room, and this is video from a little bit earlier. We're not able to show you a live feed, but they go in there, uh, they put them in the computer, and the poll workers add that to the count of the votes already cast here in Fulton County, then ultimately that's going to go to the Georgia Secretary of State's office. We also have spoken with a lot of people throughout the day, including those who are leading organizations, making sure that people get out and vote, no matter which issues or candidates they want to choose. Take a listen to why they said it's so important. We've been working hard to educate community members and just really encourage people to get to the polls. So we turned it into a 501c3 nonprofit where we reach people where they are. We come to the communities, we're doing skating rinks, we're going to grocery stores, gas stations, anywhere and everywhere to mobilize voters. It is really critical that we get people out to vote because we want to change the trajectory of the state. This is a, we believe that Georgia is a beautiful state. The Peach State should be a wonderful experience for all of us. And so that part of what we need is we need public policy that's going to center people in that profit. And we have seen some record setting voting for the midterm elections. Early voting, two and a half million people cast their ballots either in person or mail in. We're still waiting to see how many Georgians voted in the general election today. But behind me, poll workers in Fulton County are hard at work making sure that every vote is counted and police security as well as poll watchers from the Republicans, the Democrats and the moderates are all watching to make sure that everything is secure and fair. We're live tonight in Fulton County. I'm Vic Michalucci, Channel 4, the local station, and we'll be right back.